If you look at the criteria for a 10 out of 10 English essay, you can see there's a couple of requirements. But the main one that applies to all essays is our ability to demonstrate a close understanding of the text. Now this can be quite broad, it could mean picking the right quotes or having a clear structure, but I want to focus on one thing that I consistently see in high scoring essays, and it's something that you can implement in your own writing as well, and that is using short and even single word quotes. Now that might sound a bit weird, what's the point of analysing a single word? Well the reason why this is effective is it allows you to analyse the meanings behind certain words and this allows you to show deeper and more sophisticated understanding. And this is something called connotative analysis, where we analyse the connotations of words. And just as a heads up, connotations basically means stuff the word makes you think about. For example, the word society might make you think of upright, civilised and organised behaviour, and the word brawling might make you think of violent gang violence or brutal street fights. And finally, the phrase day after day might make you think of something that is quite draining and wearisome. So these have all been examples of short quotes and their hidden connotations. So let's have a look at how we can use this in our own essays. So I'm just going to make up a text. Let's say the author mentions this sentence. Children nowadays are becoming more dependent on their parents, and they only focus on themselves, which is becoming an epidemic that is widespread. So here, I want to focus on the word epidemic. And what does that make you think? Well, for me, it definitely made me think of COVID. So let's see how I analyze this word. The author capitalizes on the negative connotations of the word epidemic, which aims to compare children's dependent behavior to that of a contagious disease. This may incite fear in parents that their children may contract this disease, urging them to allow their children to be more independent so as to immunize their child. So you can see how I drilled into this one word, epidemic, which had connotations or it made me think about a contagious disease that needed to be cured or immunized against. Let's look at another example. Chickens are being culled through barbaric methods and traps. So see if you can identify the words and hidden meanings in this sentence. Alright, here's what I would say. The writer capitalizes on the negative connotations of culled and barbaric, to associate this method of killing chickens with primitive and uncivilized violence. This highlights that killing chickens this way has no place in modern society because we should be able to find more civilized approaches to do so. So in this case, the words culled and barbaric makes us think of quite old fashioned or worn out ways of doing things. And compared to modern society where we're hopefully more civilized, we should therefore reject this sort of caveman method. And final example, the inspiring actions of the rebels was very noble. So here, the author capitalizes on the positive connotations of the word noble, suggesting that the actions of the rebels were righteous and heroic, and therefore justified. And another word that you could point out was the word inspiring, and this could connote an overwhelming sense of awe and captivation which makes the audience admire their rebellion. So from all these examples, you can see how we can analyze a lot just from a single word. So this has been a short guide on connotative analysis, and it's definitely something that you want to implement in your own essays. Now you don't have to do this for every single quote that you see, but just having two or three examples of this can already make your essay stand out. But that is all for this video, hope that was helpful and take care.